What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Toby here for Racing Games and today we're going to be taking a look at all of the tracks that have so far been confirmed for Gran Turismo 7. Now, it's no exaggeration to say that we are hyped for Gran Turismo 7. The game now has a number of trailers and we're starting to see more and more of the title that is soon to be released. One of the main aspects we saw was a lot of new circuits confirmed for Polyphony's game next year. Of course, all of the GT Sport tracks will be there, but we've already created a list of tracks we wanted to see in Gran Turismo 7. Stick around for those at the end. Have any of those been confirmed yet? You'll have to wait and see. Well, there are a lot of tracks to go through here, so let's take a look at the ones that have been confirmed. So taking a quick look at some GT7 track FAQs, will Albert Park be in Gran Turismo 7? There is just one Australian circuit that has been confirmed for GT7 so far and as you've just seen, that's Mount Panorama Raceway which is of course the home of the Bathurst 1000. However, thanks to a recent promo video posted to the PlayStation's Spanish language YouTube channel, it looks as though another from Down Under could join the roster. GT Academy Champion Lucas Ordonez and Gran Turismo Online Championship Champion Coque Lopez both star in this video, but it's something in the background that caught our eyes. On the wall behind the pair is a circuit map of the Albert Park Street Circuit. Now, some may say this is purely a coincidence, but you have to realise that this set was constructed especially for the video. Nothing would have been left to chance, just like those flares which drew the map of Deep Forest Raceway in another trailer. Polyphony CEO Kazunori Yamauchi confirmed a long time ago that all of the tracks in GT Sport would be carried over to GT7. Albert Park has never been in a Gran Turismo game, but that could change this year. The Melbourne circuit is a grade 1 FIA facility and has recently gone over a huge revamp to make it even faster. Albert Park is of course most famous for hosting the Australian Grand Prix, so it's very possible that Polyphony would want to introduce it to Gran Turismo. So what about that list of tracks that I said earlier we would like to see in the game? Well, these are pretty varied. First up, we've got Silverstone. Of course, Silverstone is high speed and breathtaking. Corners like Cops and Stowe and the Maggots Beckett's Chapel Complex are sensational to race around. Silverstone is of course available in games like F1 2021, where it's a thrill to tear around in an F1 car. Furthermore, Silverstone has a lot of alternative layouts for slower cars or those that just prefer a shorter lap. The International, National and Stowe circuits are all used for different categories of motorsport such as the British Touring Cars. Another world-class racing venue that wasn't in GT Sport that we'd love to see in GT7 was the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. 
Polyphony need to get Indy in GT7. The speed cars race around this famous oval is mesmerizing to watch. Indy is the home, of course, of the Indy 500, a race which makes up a third of the Triple Crown of motorsport. Those outside of America may dismiss oval racing as easy, however it's anything but. When you're approaching a banked corner at 220 miles an hour, it's more than tempting to lift off, and it takes real bravery to keep that foot flat to the floor. Like Silverstone as well, there are alternative layouts to the track too. This includes the GP road course, which has been used by Formula 1 in the past, as well as IndyCar. There's also a motorcycle course that's been used for MotoGP. Now, with both Fuji and Suzuka available in GT Sport, and therefore GT7, it could be time for Polyphony to add another real circuit from the land of the rising sun into GT7. For us, this is Okayama International Circuit, and it's one of the premium racing venues in Japan, and a very challenging track. Its first and final sectors are tight and twisty, while its long back straight promotes overtaking. It's very much a track that suits those who are brave when going back on the throttle through a corner. Running wide, though, is not an option. The gravel will swallow you up in no time. Also known as Ada, the circuit has hosted Formula 1, the World Touring Car Championship and Super GT in the past. Next up we've got Zandvoort, which has been given a revamp of late ahead of its hosting the first Dutch F1 race since the 1980s. This is the perfect time to get the famous Netherlands track into Gran Turismo. Overtaking is difficult, but the brave are rewarded into corners like the Tarzan hairpin, and the track is also surprisingly high speed in sections too. Turn 8 and the final corners are somewhat reminiscent of the Monza banking or the aforementioned Indy. And finally, we've got Road America. Another quality IndyCar venue is Wisconsin's Road America. High speed and tight with little to no runoff around its four mile lap, it's a thrill ride from start to finish. The circuit is often unavailable in racing games, which is a crying shame because it's brilliant to race around. The high performance cars are incredible to throw around the high speed corners like turns one, seven, the carousel and the kink. <laughs> So those are all the tracks confirmed for Gran Turismo 7, as well as some tracks that we at Racing Games would like to see. Are there any tracks not on this list that you would love to see come to Gran Turismo 7? Let us know down in the comments. I've been Toby for Racing Games and I'll catch you on another video here on the channel soon.